Guys, welcome back to Gatchis 123. Thanks again for checking out this video. Thanks again for checking out the channel. Join us here, here, and here. For some great content, discount codes, and so forth. Again, got a lot of cool stuff there. Alright guys, let's get on to the video real quick. I know you guys are watching this video. You're probably having this issue, and it's really annoying. And there is no fix. You tried everything. It still doesn't work. You tried updates, you tried resetting it, you tried factory reset, you tried literally everything available and it still doesn't work. Maybe this will work for you. I know it did for my phone. So actually it did work for a couple of phones already. It took me a while to figure this thing out, search online. So again, uh, I, I did most of the legwork. So hopefully this works for you if you pretty much tried everything else and still nothing worked. All right, so if you're seeing this video, you're probably getting this. Let me kind of zoom in right there error profile blah 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 blah. error internal error and then when you click ok you get this update firmware and then it's just errors out again now um, you're already up to date so first thing you should definitely try is make sure your software is up to date if you already did that check didn't work if you formatted the phone still didn't work um, you check every setting that you could and still nothing worked then I suggest you try the following. So let's try to do it together and see if we could get this to work. Oh, you have to, well. First things you have to do is well, let's go back. Uh, go to the settings screen, which is right here. Okay. So once you go to the settings, we go to software update. Uh, here it is, software update. Okay, there you go. Now you go into where it says UICC unlock. You press the button there. Then we're going to do oh, it's going to say installing application uh, if you did not install it and then you're going to see the sim restricted your device is configured to use carriers network only if you're not carry sim card please contact customer server that's fine that's part of the message that you're supposed to get after you're done with that now what's going to happen is it's going to kick you back out into this screen so here you do the download and install now i know that you already have the latest software but again just follow me on this one let me just turn it on download and install and just let this go through with the process all right so once you hit that it's going to say your software is up to date okay now we're going to go back to the main screen because you're probably going to get that message so let's see if it appears again right, it's not showing up so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and turn it off restart and turn it back on now again guys it is rebooting again so it's turning back on after we did that I want to see if I get that message there it is hold on complete reporting firmware version I don't know if you guys could see it it says complete reporting firmware version Welcome to Samsung, blah, 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 blah. I agree. I continue to agree, but continue. Set browser, no, no, not now. I don't want that to be the browser. And there you go, guys. Solved. Problem solved. So, again, if you're having that issue, um, follow these instructions. It might work. Now, this is part two. If this worked for you guys, please leave a comment, like, um, subscribe to the channel uh, inform other people let them know the fix for it and um, you know leave me a thumbs up as a thank you again appreciate all the comments that you guys always leave for helping uh, solve any kind of issues but this is part two if this if that did work for you I'm happy it did if it didn't work for you and you still get prompted with that message on the screen just click OK on it and let it like load let it do what it normally does when it tries to find it and then when the other message appears click OK on that one and what's gonna happen is it's going to say uh, update successful or update has been success the only reason I'm not doing it is because I did not get that prompt now I'm going to show you again just to be you know just to double check I'm gonna reboot this because normally it does happen when you just um, reboot it because you could disable certain parts uh, within the uh, software settings and uh, make that message go away but once you reboot it it comes back up this method basically deletes it 
uh, updates the system so you don't have that problem anymore. So again, it is turning off. I think I turned it off by mistake. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I turned it off by mistake. My bad. All right, so we're going to go, uh, basically turn it back on. So if this process did work, then I should not get prompted for that. But again, keep in mind that if you did what I did and the second time, what happened is after you did the last up software update and you went back and you got that message, um, all you do is click OK on that message, let it load, click OK on the second part, let it load, and what's going to happen is, there you see, the profile has been updated, press OK to continue. So now you're going to get the profile has been updated, you should not have any more problems with prompting that. Guys, hopefully this method helped you update that pesky error message. Uh, I'm happy you did on my phone just because it was draining my battery and it was a pain just having that prompted for weeks and weeks and days and so forth every time. Um, I see a lot of messages on uh, YouTube and all the other post forums that I see that uh, this issue is um, something that hopefully Samsung will update with their next uh, update they release but again we'll see what happens so hopefully this will work for you guys leave a comment leave a message if you have any questions or anything just post it there again i'll try to answer as much as i can again thanks for watching gadgets one two three and i'll see you guys on the next video hit that music